I also picked up some Swabatel. I had some already. It might be cheaper to get it at Aldi because I think it's two something. I have to look at the ounces. Two something for a bigger thing. I picked up two of the paper towels. I love to get the selective size. And um, I think I'm about done, guys. I did pick up Josiah, if I can find them, the emoji solar things. That was the first time I ever picked them up, any solar things. And I probably won't because he started throwing them like they're balls. And then I also picked up the Suavitel. Um, you get 20 sheets in here. Um, fabric sheets. I have lost my thought. And they smell so good. I'm using Bounce right now. But, yeah. I picked up this writing board for Josiah Thomas and Friends numbers, trace and practice. And of course he needed it. And I think on the back you put a number here and then you count out how many trains and you circle the trains. So he loves Thomas. He loves trains. So I picked that up for him. I think that was the only one that I saw. Also, Mama tried these already. We went to Dollar Tree yesterday. And these are the Sherwood Nut Clusters Peanut Butter. Hmm. Peanut, sunflower, pumpkin seeds, and cranberries. It has nine grams of wood per serving. This is nine grams um, of fat. And then it has four grams of protein, 140 calories. And I think it's three servings, Mama said in this, but she was like, it was like crumbles at the bottom or something. But she said it was really good. She picked up a different one today. It had like a blue label, so I'm not sure what was on it. So I haven't tried mine. I picked up some raisins. I did pick up some trail party mix. No, it's not trail. Well, it's like a trail. No, it's party mix. It has different types of chips in it that Dollar Tree has. I guess I'll show you guys. And I wanted some raisins to go in. My camera's crooked. So a lot of time, I like it because it's salty. Um, the party mix. I just get just a little bit and I add some raisins because it's sweet to it. Also, this is something that I have with the almonds. I have like some sliced cheese, some grapes, um, maybe some pepperoni or um, some ham. It just depends. And seems like I'm leaving something else out that I like to put on there. I might slice up a boiled egg. Not all of that at one time, but it's just different choices that I'll put on that plate. But, yeah. And this is, what is it? Pretzels, cheese curls, corn chips, nacho cheese. And then I think they have one that might have M&M's in it. I'm not sure. But I think so. Most of the time, guys, when I have snacks or something, my crew grabs it before I get a chance to share it. So, um, that's why you don't see a ton of snacks. And usually in my hauls, they grab it. Also, they said that I have to go back on what I said. I put in a caption last time and said that these were good. They said that they were... Some of these, are, I think the cocoa balls are good. The fruit rings, even my husband said, was not good. Um, they ate all of these, but just about, I think it's one bag of these left. So, um, yeah. So, just the FYI. But I got them anyway because they're a dollar and to um, for them to eat. Just a few more items, guys. I have been looking for this. I need to go back to making my Dollar Tree wish list again because sometimes I forget that I've been looking for something. So, this is the egg storage. Um, this was a total different Dollar Tree, not even my local one. It'll show up. Now I got it at my local one. But um, the lid doesn't stay on like snap, but that's fine. I'm always buying eggs. So, I end up picking up three of these. I have three of these. I probably should have got four but um, three and because the type of surface that it on is on you can just use like a dry erase and put like the expiration date on the eggs or whatever but we use them so fast or if you want to put them like in order of how you purchase them especially if you buy a bunch of eggs but we eat them so fast it doesn't really matter also guys I picked up some wet and wild I have plenty of nail polish I know you can never have enough nail polish but this is for my niece her birthday is the day after Cottrell's and I'm still trying to see if it has the colors on here but I thought they were really pretty with the green and it doesn't have the colors and this one's really pretty with the uh oh something must have happened and then they had the Lip Smacker Layer It. And they had other ones as well. 
but these are the only ones I picked up and it was hard for me to figure out what was the scent because they had it in another language but this is parfait bananas and blueberry parfait the, with the glitter at the bottom and then they have the lip at the top punch and then this one is lemonade punch I don't know but anyway that's 520 and 525 and they had plenty of other ones but I have a lot of lippies that I have not even used and so I thought I'll put it in this little bag and I thought it was weird because the cashier took the filling out which I didn't want her to do and um it was one guy today I don't know if he was like security in there or not. He didn't look like he was security. But I figured he was because I could see him out of my peripheral. And um, anyway, he was like he was going towards, you know how like the last aisle is usually close to the cooking aisle stuff. And so I just went that way. No, I was waiting over there for Mama and I saw him go that way like he was going to leave out the store. But he ended up turning around and the first register but anyway anyway i just thought it was weird and she took the stuff out and that he was in there and it looks like he was 107 or security or whatever and i was like man please and lastly guys because of time restraints i'm just going to share i'm probably will do it if i share a diy with the wedding i know you guys asked in the past for the bouquets and I'm having to do these bouquets a little different so I will try to show how I did them before the first time and then this time of course so um, this theme of their wedding is rustic rustic and um, this Dollar Tree had a bunch of the burlap burlap light tight ribbon so I picked up some in even if I don't need it for their wedding I love that type of ribbon and I think I had to, but I must have used it for something. As well, they are doing Hershey kiss Kisses for their favors. We want to do burlap bags, but we are, the wedding is August the 12th. So I don't have a lot of time to um, waste, but I'm really helping. But um, some things I'm responsible for. So anyway, the organza bags, they had them in ivory. Uh, they have them in green. You guys probably know this blue, pink. And I think a white. And so I picked up 11 of them. They're going to have 125, I think, to 150 guests if everybody are SVPs as well. I think I may have had this in a different color, but this was right on time. The burlap ribbon. I picked up two of these. And then as well, they had some rope. And I think they coming out with that because it's fall or maybe all the time. And then it's something else. Yeah. So that's it. Um, I do have one more thing, but it's for DIY later on, and I'll share then. So So um, I think that's it, guys, other than toilet paper and the cups, paper plates. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will share with you guys if I'm a little MIA. I'm busy doing flowers and some other decor stuff. I have some video DIY videos coming up and I have a bunch of haul videos I still haven't hauled and I have some grocery hauls too and then I know I have some um you guys asked for some planner videos so I have to work on those and I'm working on Cottrell's room and yeah so it's a lot going on <laughs> so guys and my pantry so guys thanks so much for watching I'll see you in the next video bye bye